Hi everyone, welcome back to Station Is. So, last time we had popped through here and we've made a start on our gas room, which to a degree is kind of functional now. I mean, there's still a lot of work to be had, work to be done in here. Um, but the gas room isn't really my main concern right now. Um, basically, at some point, I do need to get the temperature um stuff working in here but that's gonna have to wait because i have a problem with food so this can is all that stands between me and death and it's now on 69 percent. so we need to get that sorted pretty sharpish so today we're going to be making a start on the farm so i've got some stuff um i mean i just put all the seeds here in a power but i've got some stuff ready because i'm going to build the farm here and we're going to pop it through to this hole right here. So I need to get my shit together and get this done. Um, so I've got, I think I start with, yeah, I've got one grill light. So where are my frames? We'll take you, uh, take you, take you, take you, take you. And all of that stuff can wait until we've got it all popped through. So let's close the helmet. Let's get outside and try and get this built. Um, I have a feeling I've been using more food than I would have done on the moon. It doesn't seem to have lasted me as long. Although on the moon we had our um, unlimited chickens. Um, what also occurred to me when I was making all this stuff is that I've... Uh, I think I've done a bit of a boo-boo, really. Um, in the gas room, I should have probably put the gas tanks on the other side of the room because now I've got this issue with these pipes. Um, and also, where I was going to put all my power displays, that's all kind of got cables and pipes on the other side. So at some point, we're probably going to have to sort that out. Um, but for now, let's get this welded. And I'm going to try something different as well um, here. So obviously we've got a temperature of minus 149 out here. And I can vacuum it out, obviously. Um, but with how long that takes, I'm wondering whether we just build it full of blocks. And uh, then remove the blocks afterwards. Because that should, in theory, give us no atmosphere. So the sun... Oh, that, that looked quite nice. I thought that was a third planet there or something. Um, the sun's kind of going in that direction, uh, but we're not seeing much of it. So I'm not bothered about going too high in here. Um, if I can keep it at a low height, then we have the advantage of not as much space to um, kind of put atmosphere in. Um, so this is going to be my plan. If I block these up... Whoa, I'm hoping, uh, as long as I've got enough steel plates, 12, 24, I don't, this isn't going to work. Uh, I'm going to go, no. okay, I didn't mean steel plates, I meant steel sheets, but I still don't have enough anyway. Let's go and get some more mead. So I just think it will just save me the job of having to connect a, um, a vent and all that kind of stuff. Maybe this would be quicker if I'd have had all the sheets, that is. Uh, right, I don't have any more, so let's just quickly get some crafted. Uh, steel, 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 steel. I have a bit of steel here. So I've got the 24, which is going to be for those. Um, and then I'm going to... Oh, hang on, what do the walls take? Is it the... Whoops. Is it the flat walls that I've got? No, so the kit wall. Wall, wall, wall. And we're going to turn it into the... Is it the composite window, I think? Uh, yeah, that one. Plastic. Oh, I do have enough. I don't need this. Don't need this. Don't need this. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. I know what I'm doing. So, we will get you welded up. Come on. 
Boom, 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 boom. So, I'm substituting power that the active vent would use, but instead using the power that my welder's going to use. But I, I kind of hope that this would be a time saver. I don't have to faff around with all the cabling, um, all that kind of thing. Don't have to, like, pipe up the vents or anything like that. So, I hope that that is how this is going to work. And then if I was to put the walls on the outside of this, uh, not walls, windows. Oops. I mean, I'm pretty sure there's probably someone out there thinking this is a stupid way of doing it, but I'm doing it. I probably should have made this taller actually because I'm not going to be able to automate this am I eventually we'll worry about that when we get to it at some point I will have to take off all these windows but uh, for now I need to get food sorted Glass, glass, glass. Okay. Okay, so I think in theory that should be airtight and there should be no gas in there. So now if I go and pop the wall from the inside, I hope all should be well. So here goes nothing. Okay, well that's good. That's a good sign. Uh, we knew there was a frame there though, so nothing new really. Oh, what do I need for this? Is it the wrench? Temperature critical. Oh, well that doesn't work. Temperature low. Temperature low. Temperature critical. Crap, 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 crap. Oh, I was like, I was sure that was going to work. Oh, I've done it now, so screw it. So these will hold the temperature. They, I thought they would might like delete the temperature. Oh, well, at least now we know going forward not to try and have any clever ideas. And now we've just made it very, very cold in the base. So, fantastic. We will... Ah, oh, actually, we can probably combat that by leaking some of the CO2 into here. Okay, well, we've got a box. Oh, what's... Pure carbon dioxide. Oh, interesting. Where's my tablets in my inventory? The CO2 is freezing. Huh. Okay, well, that's fine. Um, I mean, we're, we're, we're about to sort that out anyway. So, I need to... Let's see. So we've got 339 degrees in here. We can leak some of this out. So what I will do is let's put a cowl on the pipe. Uh, let's think. 
Pipe cow. Ion, please. And I'm also going to need a valve. No, not that one. Just a normal one for now. Thank you. Copper. Okay. So let's go and pop this on. Uh, so there's my CO2. So if I, again, just like everything else in life, it's all temporary. I mean, to be fair, I could leave this on as like a manual backup, couldn't I? doesn't have to be temporary. So we currently have a temperature of, oh, minus 37 isn't bad. It obviously gets colder the further around here we go. It's still equalizing. Right, let's leak some of that in here and let's see what happens. Oh, the temperature is increasing pretty quickly to be fair. So I'm looking for about a temperature of, I don't know, maybe 20 degrees in here. And then by the time that equalizes with the rest of the base, we should hopefully still be in a positive value. And we're going to need the CO2 anyway for our plant. So there is nothing wrong with this plan. I hope. Look, zero degrees here, minus two here, minus three. Thirty five degrees here. Okay. Just gonna have a little bit more come through and then we're gonna turn this off. Sixteen degrees, seventeen degrees, eighteen, nineteen, uh, about there. So, what has that done? We are still at negative thirty five in here. Mm hmm. 28 it's going to take time for this to equalize but we've got a lot of very cold air everywhere else um, nah I need, I need more Okay, so 22, 21, 18, 15, 13, 10, 8. Okay, so we've taken a bit more of a chill off it, which is always good. But this is going to equalize at about... I don't know, I think we'll be pretty close to zero. Going to get a bit more. Um. Okay, so once we've done that, I want to put the hydroponics in and well I need to make the hydroponics uh, and the grow light we're not going to be able to do the harvest anytime soon but to be honest that's not the end of the world okay we'll see we'll see what we get with that so what do we need for hydroponics they are made in this one I believe hydroponic tray um, ion. I need more ion. I will take you. Um, I don't want more than that, I think, aren't we? So I need to get water in there. Um, the grow light power is easy. Power we can just run off a transformer here, and jobs are good. And I want to put a door in. Um, 
But yeah, we don't need loads of these to begin with. We just need something. We need to sort this out. If I go for... If I go for... Uh, five. Uh, yeah, you know what? We'll go for nine. It'd be a nice little square of them. We have still got a bit more iron, so we're okay on that. So, on. do I have any... I need to make some pipes after this. Uh, whoops. So if I take you... And to be honest, uh, we can just use the normal pipes. Just to save on a bit of the cost because we, we, we don't... These pipes aren't going to be going outside. They're only ever going to hit base temperature. Um... Oh, no, no, we can't be having that now. Thank you. Okay, so what's the best way of doing this? I mean, if I if I say this is just going to be my little star one, I can always build a bigger farm somewhere else. Um, kind of want the grow light somewhere decent, although I don't think it's going to matter really. Um... Screw it, we'll just do it in the middle. I don't know what my plan is here. Oh. Okay. Oh yeah, I'm not even mentioned. So I've made a bit more of a short-term plan. Uh, stuff that I think takes priority, although the advanced talent does not. Um, heat exchanger, obviously, for our gas, but again, that's not a massive concern right now. Um... The pipe bender mod, I can't remember what I wanted that for. Oh, that's so I can make the big heat exchanger. Food is what we're doing now. And then power because, yeah, we're not doing great. And to be fair, to save on that, I should probably turn these off. Because these are taking such a long time to process this. I'm just going to save my power for now. Leave it all off. That's fine. Uh, right, pipes. And I'm going to need to connect this. The only water source I have is that. But I kind of feel like the farm should have its own water source. Um, uh, where's my wrench? And then what I can do is... Uh, do I connect? Do I burn the water cooler inside? I mean, not the water cooler, sorry. The ice crusher. That one's inside and not causing any problems. So, you know what? Let's make another ice crusher. Uh, in this one? Is it this one? Yeah. I probably should connect this to my drinking water. Um. But I feel like... It's just a better idea not to. Question mark. Uh, have I got enough cable for what I need to do? I think so. Uh, do -ba -do -ba -do -ba -do. The grill light's going to be on constantly, I think, isn't it? Well, not constantly, but more often than not. Okay, so ice crusher, uh, you can go, yes, doesn't really matter too much, pretty sure you're just iron sheets, cable coil, there we go, right, let's get you connected down here. Okay, so we have a way of getting water. I just need to find some ice water for that. Uh, let's sort out the power. So, the back of this wall is that. Um, so, if I run... I mean, to be fair, I could just put the transform on the back of this wall, couldn't I? Um... 
You there, you there. Bring you up. Like so. And then bring you back down. Boom. And then we can easily run. Uh, let me go get the grow light. That one. Let's see. So we kind of want you to be in the middle. So I've, I've, I've done this stupidly, but hey ho. Um, it's okay. I don't mind seeing the cables in the ceiling too much. Ish. Uh, I don't have any. No, we should be good. We should be good. Uh, right, so if I bring you across there. Like so, with one cable to spare. Boom. Right, I need a transformer. Uh, this one. And what I'll do, whilst I remember and I've got the material, let me make the advanced tablet. That'll do. And that way that's one job done. And bang you there. Set you to 49.50. Boom. Boom. Voila. Okay. So the temperature in here is still too cold. But if I can go out and get some ice water. It's pretty dark out though. Um... Maybe we sh mm. Right, let's get some more CO2 in the base. Let's get this warmed up a little bit more. And then we'll go and get some ice water. I mean, we've got quite a nice amount of uh, CO2 in here. Now, can I breathe? Okay, so this is a, a breathable mix. So that's absolutely fine. And yeah, I know that there's more than one way of doing this. So you could create a... A greenhouse that is um, kind of isolated, like do it in an airlock and kind of have its own mix. But realistically, I mean, is this not just easier? Um, just having it in the base, it doesn't really matter. At some point, I will get gas mixing set up, so I've always got a decent supply of oxygen in here. But I don't see the issue in adding CO2 to the base. I mean, I breathe it out anyway. Um, okay, I am going to go mining because I need water. So let's pop you there. Pop you there. Let's grab me advanced tablet. Uh, don't want you. I want you instead. Uh, bloody hell. Hold on. Give me the battery. Eh. And we can put two cards in this one. So let's go for the ore scanner. And the... No, not that one. Where's the GPS? Ore scanner. Where the hell is my GPS card? Oh yeah, my eggs spoil. This is a shame. Go away. Oh, is that it? Is that it? Nope, that's the airlock. The deuce. It's not still in there, is it? Nope. Nope. 
No. Ah, oh, got it. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Okay. And then what's just occurred to me actually is why bin that one off? Why not just use that as well? So I have an Atmo analyzer in the base, which I won't remember is there, but there you go. And an advanced tablet. Uh, okay, okay. So let's pop you on the floor. And I think we're good. Yeah, we're good. I wish there was a shortcut key to uh, kind of just, uh, you know what I'm trying to say, those words, uh, to switch between these two. But I don't think there is. Oh, I should have brought the ore scanner colour with me. Never mind. Um, it's not that helpful. I was trying to use it, and I, I, to me, the colours don't mean jack shit. Like the, the I, I think, like an ore. Well, I think a colour could mean multiple ores. Um, which just seems counterproductive. Uh, I mean, I guess it's a way of. It not being too overpowered, but come on. Um, to me, if something's gold, it should be gold. And when I was mining, it was not. Uh, more silicon. I do not want that. I want the ice water. So that took bloody ages. Um, if I've remembered, I've cut that out. If I haven't, then shame on me. Um, let's get inside. We're bloody thirsty. Look. Um, didn't get as much uh, as I would have liked, but you know what? It's it's better than nothing. Uh, right. Let's get this off. Get this off. Drink, drink, drink. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Eat, eat, eat. No, oh, don't need to turn you on. We're good. Okay. Let's get um. My Atmo Analyzer. So what do we have? We've got 15 degrees. That might be okay for potatoes, to be fair. Um, right. Go. Okay. You can see it kind of building up in temperature, which is fine. Um, we can keep that water at the temperature of the base. Um... So that shouldn't be a problem. So I think to start with, if we go potatoes, because they're the, e I think they're the, not the, not necessarily the easiest to grow, but the easiest to eat. Everything else I've, I think needs prep. Um, and just so we don't break anything, let's wait for this to warm up. You're taking the biscuit. Come on, what are you doing? Taking ages. I'm going to need to figure out a schedule for the light. Um, although maybe we start looking into the crop mutations and see if we can get the potatoes to like growing in the dark. Boom, we got water. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, so if we do one growing poorly. Well, that's not good. Is that just because it's dark? What about now? What's your problem? Growing poorly. Potato! Uh, it is too cold. Okay, well, we can fix that out. Let there be heat. How are we doing for CO2 anyway? How have we got oxygen nitrogen in there? Oh, crap. It's equalizing with the base because I've used a cow. I haven't put a one-way pipe on that. 
you know what maybe we should not make that worse and we should quickly get a one-way valve installed um, let's do that now valve 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 and I'm now just very aware that I've left that CO2 on so I'm currently releasing more into the base no, oh, it's too hot in here. Uh, right, where is me wrench? Go away. Uh, there. Cannot connect to a G. Oh, so you can't connect a valve to a valve. Well, aren't you stupid? Uh, where are all my pipes? Do, 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 do. Uh, so if we do you, and then you, and then you. So that should stop that issue from happening again. Nothing in there. We've got, I'm hoping if I do this. Yeah, so we are losing that oxygen very slowly. So as time goes on, that all that will sort itself out. But what temperature has that put the farm on? Oh yay, we are like pretty much not doing great because now we're going to have to start looking at cooling. Cooling is easier than heating now. Um, so moderately well. Now what's your problem? Uh, the pressure. You want more pressure. Uh, well, you can't have it. Um, more pressure. Okay. Well, my CO2. Uh, I could connect my oxygen up this in the same way like this, and just do a little bit of manual jiggery pokery for now. Um, what do I need? I need two valves and a cowl. Let's do that. Two valves and a cowl. So this is going to work as a bit of manual cooling and bump the pressure up. Um, we do need to look at making the base cooling at some point relatively soon. We don't want to be manually messing with valves every bloody time we need to up or lower the temperature. I need to put that bit of wall back on as well. It looks ugly with that big hole. Uh, right, so what am I doing? I want you there. What's the easiest way of doing this? There we go. You and you and you. And you. Okay. And now it starts becoming fiddly. So we've got a bit too much temperature. So let's release some very cold. Wait, what? Why is the CO2 evaporating? Oh, no. Whew. Okay, so the CO2 was... Um, cooling it's because those two are so close to one another i think but if i do this it's because the temperatures back there look so it's liquefying but that's fine we can we can deal so that's you and then you can raise the temperature 40 kpa you know what what happens if we turn both of you on come on Uh, 
Uh, nothing, nothing exciting really. It's just uh, the temperature is still increasing slowly. So let's turn you off. Come on, cool this place down. What's it like in the farm? You're still going. Why are you freezing? Is that what that means? Oh no, sorry. Evap so that's the gas, isn't it? Not the ice. That's fine. You're going moderately well. It's because I still need this pressure to build up. We want a pressure of 51. Come on, tanks. Why are you going so slow? Is it because... Oh, bloody hell. We don't want that one. We want this one. Now, what if we do both? Alright, we are running a little low on the old oxygen, but that pump should kick in some point what did I set you to 950 so we'll be able to see if that kicks in and starts pumping through the oxygen hopefully it does we're also going to start running low on the old co2 okay we'll see if that starts it should hopefully stay about 250 I'm hoping that pump will pump in gas quicker than it, I'm letting it out Or it won't. Oi! Oh, nuts. Hang on. Are you building up at all? Yes. So that pump is just bloody slow. Okay. Okay, hang on. We're too hot in here. We're 29 degrees. How you doing? You're thriving. You're happy now. Yeah, you are. Okay. So, ideally, it would be 51 kPa. We're currently at 43. We are building up, though. Um, let's see. If I turn you off, are you still thriving? You are. So I need to get that onto a cycle. Um, I mean, ideally, I would somehow move them so they only require whatever the planet gives us, but I don't really know how you do that. Um, got 32 liters in here. So you know what? Have that one as well. Looks like we've got plenty of capacity. Yeah, we're good. Right, so I'm happy with that potato. You know what? Let me fix that bloody wall. It annoys me every time I walk past it. There we go. So we're still cooling off in here, which is good. I might change that to a volume pump. Maybe. Or do I... Do I make this a lot higher? Why have I only set that much in there? Why did I do that? What was the reason for me doing that? Passive vent. It's all insulated pipes. Why did I only set you to 950 kPa? I don't know. So let's whack this up. Why am I doing that? No. 
Oh, screw it. You can stay at 34. I can't bother. So it's climbing, but it's just going to take ages. Oh. Wait. I just remembered. Uh, it was because... It was because I looked at this, didn't I? And said that... Uh, it would have to be at a positive temperature. But because this is now warmed up quite significantly. Okay, hang on. One second. Let me put that back down to 950. So if I can keep the oxygen at a steady temperature. Hang on a sec. Hang on. Would that not work for base cooling? Because we're... It's... Uh, wait, hang on a second. What's going on here? Ideas are happening. Hang on, something's forming. Okay. If we were to read the temperature in the base and we detected it was, I don't know, let's say 31 degrees as it is now. It's too hot. So we pump in cold European air into the tank. It doesn't matter. Um... We have radiators connected to that, so we can vent out, uh, not not vent, radiate uh, the temperature. Once it hits a certain temperature, we shut off that. Any overpressure is just spat out. What that will allow me to do is I could keep this tank at the room temperature and it not be an issue. Because if... So basically, if you look at... So if I get it, what is it, 27? There we do it Celsius. It makes more sense to me. Um, so we're going to have our base. Let's say we have it at 25 degrees. Look, any pressure at 25 degrees doesn't matter. It would always be gas. Um, so surely that makes more sense rather than keeping it cold. It doesn't need to be cold. Uh, yeah, I think, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try and set up some base cooling. Uh, okay, what are we on? 23 degrees, shut you off, turn you on. We've got so much CO2 in here now. Got bloody loads. Okay, let's leave that. Let's let it all settle. Let it all settle. Do, 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 do. How you doing? You are good. Okay. Do I play it brave? And, well, can we make corn? Whoops. Corn. Corn, corn, corn. Corn, corn, corn. Uh, I'm sure, is there like a corn on the cob, I think? Oh, cooked corn. Mm -hmm. One corn from corn in the microwave. I'm planting me some corn. Thriving. Boom, boom, boom. Shake the room. Uh, okay. Let's get uh, my table and me microwave. Uh, I didn't realize there were different tables oh look at that it's massive or oh, did i know there were different tables i don't know bench counter style <laughs> uh but yeah you're not going there uh you need to go oh actually to be fair you can go here that's probably okay high tech style frame style oh there's loads of different styles this a new thing? Uh, I'm going high tech. Screw it. Uh, I've not really used one. Boom. 
Oh yeah, I need more cable. Let's sort out the cable. Uh, yep, that is the right machine. Um, that was a big sigh. Sorry about that. Uh, okay, so I need to work on the grow light. I, I need to figure out Oh, well, maybe what I do is I just... Maybe I do look at the mutations. Because I assume to get it used to growing in dark, I just need to only give it enough light for it to grow. Then once I've got the... I don't know if it's the crop or the seed that carries the mutation, but then that one will then... Oh, yeah, I, I grew in less light. Is that right? Maybe? I don't know. Uh, right, let's hook you up. Okay, dokie. Uh, I think we're good. Uh, I would grow more crops, but I don't want to waste my seeds. So I've still got like the rest of that can of food, which isn't a lot, but until it's a massive problem. Like, well, it's, it's clearly getting close to being a problem, but it's all right. I'm going to get loads of potatoes. Uh, I want to look at, oh, what's it called? Uh, genetics. Plants have a set of genes that modify its behavior. Plant genes will be manipulated in a number of ways. When a plant produces fewer seeds, it will pass on genetic with a small random mutation. On top of any mutation, the plant condition over its life can also affect its genes. For example, if a plant starved of water, while it may grow speed and yield, the offspring will receive genes that make it require less water. There are a number of tools you will need to manage your crops effectively. Plant sampler and plant genetic analyzer. Growing plant see the state of its genes. Okay, so yeah, that, that sounds like it works as I think it does. So if I can just keep this growing just add a little bit of light it doesn't have to have too much just enough so it's constantly thriving or well, not thriving growing it will get used to not having the light it, it normally re would require um i mean all that's telling me is uh i mean i don't really care about any of that to be honest but you could probably make some super plants that will just grow in anything, couldn't you? It can be used to copy a single gene from one source plant to another target plant. After copying, the source plant will be destroyed. To begin splicing, place a plant or seed bag in the left slot source. In the same type in the right slot target, you can select the gene used now as... If you want to cancel splicing, you can power off the bench and attack the plant as a last resort. Ooh. Use to manipulate gene stability on a specific plant or seed. It has two modes, stabilize and destabilize. Stabilize increase all gene stability by 50%. Decrease. What does that mean? Uh, I don't really understand. What, what, what's the stability that it... Uh, I mean, I can't do it anyway, so let's not worry about that right now. And this one is just what we use to look at them. It will appear as a sliding bar, which is the minimum value on the left, blah, 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 blah. Temperature and pressure ranges, four genes appear on the same widget. I think I'd have to just make these and just see what happens, wouldn't I, to be honest? Um... Okay, so I think we... Uh, oh, that just sprouted ahead. That's good. Um, okay, so let's, 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 let's... Hmm, I might sort out the power issue, actually. Let's see if I can make some more wind turbines. Wind turbines! Yummy! Oh, I can make the... Uh, not those ones. These ones. Oh, I can make him straight off the bat. That's going to use all my steel, though. Do I have any more? 
I've got 13 grams. Ooh, I think another mining trip is in order. Uh, 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 uh. Using 470, you're getting 976, so I am gaining power slowly. But there, that's not rushing. Oh, I kind of want my potato, my corn to grow now. This is all I really, really want. Um, no. What do the wind turbines require? Uh, five steel sheets. Oh. Oh, that's a good thing. I got 31 then, isn't it? Uh, and then it's going to want cable coil as well. Uh, well, yeah, that's the same machine. So when you're done, we'll get cable coil going. How much copper do you have? 26. You're going to use 10 for this. That will do. Cable coil. Do, 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 do. I'll need heavy cable coil as well to connect them up, but I've got enough of that. I've got 39 on me. Um, So I think we are good I mean I should probably put that solar panel up any power is better than no power uh, whilst I wait for my cables so what have we done so we have the advanced tablet so let's get rid of you power we are doing now food mm, I'm not going to say food is done right now I'd, I'm, I'm saying it's doing, it's not done. That's enough, that's enough, that's enough, that's enough, that's enough, that's enough. Stop. Okay. Uh, suit, suit. Uh, I've got you. My world, I've got battery power. It has. Let's go, go, go. Right then. So, these ones. Whoops. Where's your... They only have a single variante. So maybe. Bam, ba, bam. Ba, 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 ba. Yeah, maybe it makes more sense to put this one up here. Um, so let's do that. Here, Mom. And then get you welded. Cable coil. And then let me get a screwdriver. Hell yeah, it's a screwdriver. Oh, look at that. It's going to take my head off. Oh, it's, it's, it's bloody trying. Okay. Really loud, isn't it? So that is my main power cable. Ooh, my jetpack is struggling. Come on. Right, so we bring you up here. It's so loud up here. Yeah, I'm. Look how quick it's all going. Wah hey! Let's go see how that's looking on our power now, shall we? Uh, nope, nope. Actual 3.16 kilowatts required 2.27 megawatts. So, yeah, those numbers are better. I'm sure it means I'm gaining power. You're still thriving. You're still thriving. Um, You know what? Screw it. Let's live dangerously. Uh, let's go potato, potato. Corn and corn. They are all thriving. 
You are now in darkness, darkness, darkness. So the second any of them say not thriving, we turn that on for a couple of minutes. So yeah, I need to closely monitor that and make sure it's doing what it should be doing. Um, I need a drink. Slip, 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 slip. There we go. So I'm just going to release a little bit more pressure into the base. Now I should have... Where's my tablet? I still got like a bit of a mix. I do. Nah, it's fine. So this has gone back up to 950, which is obviously what that is set to. So that is perfecto. Let's get both of those whacked in. Boom. So now that we've got our base at a decent heat, we need to make sure a, it doesn't get too out of control. That shouldn't be a problem because, well, we're on this big old ice rock. Um, what we don't want to do is caught, do anything that causes it to get really cold uh, because uh, that wouldn't be good. Oi, you should be growing, you should be thriving. What are you doing? What are you doing? Thrive, goddamn you, thrive. Well, anyway, what does corn want to be happy? Again, not that it matters. As time goes on, we are going to uh, manipulate. So, ideal grow pressure is 51. Um, the... Ideal temperature is about 25, which is what we're at. So that's good. So, oi, stop your whinging. Come on. You can do it when you be in cure it. These are keeping the base at a pretty nice temperature. There's my 51 kPa. I think that's only in this room though as I as I walk through 49 oh actually we'll probably be at 51 very soon but yeah we're all good so I'm gonna call it there um, before the next episode I'm gonna go do some more mining because I'm very aware that I am potentially, I don't want to kill you, let's turn you off. Uh, yeah, so I'm kind of going to start running out of ore soon. I don't think I'm doing great on the iron front now. I've got four, uh, I've got none in there, none in there, 28. Is this one empty? Oh, 35. So yeah, I'm not doing great. I do need to go do some more mining. I've got some there, but not much. Um, I want to get some more steel made and yeah, get all sorted up for next time. And speaking of next time, I want to start looking at the base cooling and slash heating setup. Um, I think now we're going to start growing our food. It's important to keep the base at a livable temperature. I want to get that changed to the advanced furnace at some point. Can we do that now? Advanced furnace. Uh, kit. Silicon solder, electrum, steel, copper, gold. Can I do that now? Uh, one second. It would be good if I could get that going. It'd be very good. Nothing in there. Advanced furnace. I just need steel. Was there steel in here? Oh, I can make the advanced furnace.
Well, hey, look at that. Boom, chicka, boom, boom. So, yeah, next time then, we will get the advanced furnace put in here, get this thing replaced. Um, so, yeah. So, next time, advanced furnace, base cooling, between episodes, more mining, get all my materials and whatnot done. And also keep an eye on these plants because we need food. I don't know what this guy's problem is. He needs to sort himself out. Um, but anyway, that's enough for now. So take care. Enjoy the rest of... I want to say Tuesday, maybe. Uh, but if not, enjoy whatever day it is. Um, but until whenever day that this comes out, take care. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.